Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Margin Starcraft and today we're gonna bring you a Protoss vs Protoss match between Duckload Raw and Liquid TLO and it's on Steps of War and it's Protoss vs Protoss, I just said that didn't I? Yeah, sorry guys, it, this is a pre-patch game but considering the caliber of these players I thought, yeah, I thought it, it, it was just a good idea to post it and despite the fact that yes, Protoss have suffered the major changes in the latest patch, so gameplay might not be up to date. But again, this is just Duckload Raw versus Liquid TLO. So something has to happen. Something has to, you know, break the barrier of imagination and bring us to a land of wonder and joy and such epic Starcraftnessness. Did we just simply close our eyes and the Protoss explode into our imagination and we have a transition of being into understanding a higher level of play. Meanwhile, we have a scout up for Duckload Raw and we have a scout up for Liquid TLO. So basic builds from both these players as you can see. Gateways, Duckload Raw actually uh, opting for a wall and Liquid TLO, no such luck. And here we have a little pro being annoying, going to attack the pylon. I always wanted, these look like, uh, you know, those stun pistols that ca uh, cops carry around. And imagine shooting a building with one of those. Yeah, that's never gonna do anything. But however, a probe did get pulled off the mineral line to try and stop that. Meanwhile, we have Liquid TLO doing the exact same thing here. And slowly actually bringing down the shield. Bzz, 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 bzz. Slow damage. How much damage do these things do? Five. Well, gonna be a while. That's 400. Anyway, we have this probe still continuing to bring down the shields on this pylon. And I think this pylon actually might go down into health. Meanwhile, we have a core... No core as of yet for White Raw. So White Raw is bringing out a Zealot and a second Zealot. So he's opting for one gate early pressure and now there's that core as well. So uh, because of the scout, uh, TLO also knows to bring out a Zealot to, you know, care for this one. And is he going to bring out a second one? No, he will not bring out a second one. Is the second Zealot on the way? A second Zealot is on the way. And the third one is out of the way. Chrono is being completely used on that. So meanwhile, Liquid TLO is a slight disposition right now. We have a probe and two Zealots on the way. And the third one pretty soon. And uh, there we go. This Zealot actually taking out that probe. And now a lot of probes are being pulled off the mineral line to try and deal with this one. And now it's Zealot versus Zealot. However, TLO Zealot is in they slight disadvantage and a second Zealot comes in. Oh, and TLO went for the Stalker, yeah. So now he should be safe with that range attack and uh, taking out the first Zealot. And now he needs to move the Stalker because it's in the health. You do not want that. Micro your Stalker while using your Zealot to do some damage. There we go. Very nice indeed. And pew. Come on. Seven health. And now it's dead. And a third Zealot on the way, and this Zealot, I mean, oh, very nice indeed, and now a sentry is here, however, I believe the unit's lost tab is right now favoring Duckload Raw, no, it's not, so close, and when this Zealot dies, it's gonna not favor it, it might not favor him even more, he has lost right now three, three Zealots, while Liquid TLO has only lost one Stalker, and if we look at the cost of that, Let's see, you're not gonna see it because of my little bar. Uh, I'll tell you, a Zalot is 100 minerals, while a Stalker is 125 and 20 and 50 gas. So yeah, as you can see, the Cloud Draw is in the behind. Uh, also losing a probe, let's not forget that. So we have a Stalker Sentry and Zalot right here for defense. Meanwhile, uh, Duck Cloud Draw opting to go for 3 Gate and a Twilight Council. While Liquid TLO is basically on... 2-gate and robotics facility. The robotics facility will bring out an observer, I suppose, or maybe immortals. I do not know. The production tab doesn't give us any information as of yet as no units are being produced. No, there we go. We have three stalkers being produced out of these uh, gateways. No warp gate tech on the way. And uh, warp gate just uh, finished. Oh, no warp gate tech ready. Now it finished. Warp gate tech for TLO is in the behind. Now, let's... Uh Let's talk a little bit about these players. You probably know them as as good as I do. 
so you know what they're capable of, you know their skills and their abilities. What I will say, if you do not know, the, uh, the little one has been playing a lot of random lately. So, there we go, we have a proxy pylon, we're gonna probably try and warp in units here. Um, for reinforcement, so we have three zealots and the observer will spot this. Meanwhile, he will go to see what's up inside the base. Uh, we have uh, three stalkers, two sentries, and two zealots, uh, and three, um, no, blah, god, I'm confusing myself. Two sentries, uh, three zealots, and two stalkers to deal with this massive stalker army. We'll see how that goes, and as you can see, White Raw with the Twilight Council has clearly went for blink stalkers. So, yeah, as I was saying, liquid, uh, um, TLO has been playing a lot of random lately, so he is in, uh, in my opinion, a little bit of a disadvantage. Playing random is not your best, uh, not the best, because you are a jack of all trades and master of none. And there we go, we have a force field, one stalker actually managing to blink air, more stalkers blinking in. However, a lot of these stalkers are actually caught on the outside, a little bit of mixed micro from the cloud draw, and we have warping in uh, more stalkers for the defensive. However, these stalkers are now finally in, so we'll see if the little one can actually pull this off and managed to hold this defensive line against this massive array of stalkers and I suppose more stalkers are being warped in yes there we go and now these four stalkers are being warped out because of the immortal the immortal will play a decisive factor but there are a lot of stalkers here so there will be a lot of focus fire one stalker phoning out and now I don't know is a, is it a good idea to fall back with all these stalkers against what a couple of zealots and an immortal with correct blink micro you could take out the zealots completely faster but a second immortal is on the way no chrono boost up for the little one and he does have enough energy there we go there it is there it is meanwhile duck rolled rod choosing to expand directly to the high yield deciding hey i'm not gonna go for my natural only noobs go for the natural Meanwhile, he's continuing to, to apply pressure and not allowing TLO to do any type of damage. And now he has a Colossus on the way. TLO, I don't know, is that the best uh, the best unit to go against Stalkers? I don't know. I, 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 I honestly don't know. Immortals would be a much better decision in my opinion, but we'll see. He's TLO. He does crazy builds. That's what he's known for. Well... He doesn't do crazy builds at the end of the day if you actually analyze his builds and you know think them through they make sense but uh, right now it's really hard to make sense of a um, tactic in ongoing battle well let's try damage 15 doesn't matter he does he uh, very nice so 50 damage versus armored so yeah immortal do a lot more damage to these um and through these stalkers than the Colossus do, but I suppose he's opting for that AoE because the Colossus beam will just burn through all of these and we'll see this is a massive army and Ducklow Draw is in the advantage as I wanted to say earlier with Liquid TLO's randomness but then Ducklow Draw had to charge in uh, this, the, he is a jack of all trades and that means he is master of none in my opinion his best race is Terran he's played Terran it just so good and now we have TLO gonna move out here gonna use his army to actually push out gonna clump up his army not allow uh, to protect his colossus and gonna have the cloud drop getting out of there because he does have an immortal and a colossi and they, that means that he'll just plow through his army however what, whatever he's doing yes he has scouted this with his observer so he's gonna go in there meanwhile Sadly, Ducklodraw has blink, so Ducklodraw will be able to clearly move inside uh, the little one's base, so it's gonna be a base race. Meanwhile, this expansion is gonna fall off, and we have a lot of stalkers. There is an immortal here for defense, but however, there are a lot of stalkers and more stalkers being warped in. As you can see, we have four gates. Yes, four, five, five, five warp gates. Meanwhile, the little one is gonna fall back. Aye, 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 aye. A lot of transitioning. And probes, probes, probes actually running away from the base. Meanwhile, the little one has lost his robotics bay and his robotics bay or facility. I always get that confused. Whatever, he's lost the gateway. He's unpowered. He has unpowered pylons, and now these things are just gonna uh, blink down there and gonna take out a lot of probes. Very nice indeed for Duck Rod. That means that the little one is uh, even supply blocked. Uh, Duck Rod is not so much. His economy is probably doing pretty well. Let's check out the income. There we go. We have a very nice economy uh, hit from the Clodar. however he's slowly mining out his base and he has no expansions so, uh, to speak of so we'll see technically the Clodar did a lot of damage there oh yes here we go so the building production is called the robotics facility good remember that remember that margin anyway 
despite the fact that Duck Lord did a lot of damage, he also sustained a lot of damage and uh, devoted a lot of his resources on this early pressure. So here we go, we have another uh, batch of Blink Stalkers trying to run in here, and this means that Tuyalo is just chasing around an army, and these Stalkers are gonna go for the Nexus. Oh, I'm not gonna, I don't think that they're actually gonna take the Nexus down, but they are gonna take out a lot of probe, which is what he actually needs to do. He needs to stop Tuyalo's economy from growing while he secures his own economy. He needs to do with the best damage he can with this small uh, item. And as you can see, the Harvester count just plummeting for the little one. He's now at 12 supply, uh, 12 Harvester. He's no longer supply blocked. And where are these Zealots? The Zealots, since the Zealots have no ch uh, charge, they will never ever be able to catch these Stalkers. And doing a little bit of damage, more probes dying there. And why is this Nexus sending its probes to the main? No idea. Uh, meanwhile, we have a... V oh, we're gonna have an Immortal drop for White Raw. So while there's a break in the action, well, no break, now TLO is gonna move on the base, and Ducklord Raw is gonna move on the base as well! Uh, wanted to say that since TLO is playing random, he doesn't exactly uh, have the practice necessary to play Protoss. So Ducklord Raw, who is an exclusive Protoss player, will have more um, experience and more knowledge under the, his uh, under his belt. So it's gonna come down to, well... Whoever plays Protoss better, and I believe Dark Lord Raw has that advantage. Meanwhile, we have a base race. In this base race, I think it's favoring TLO. Well, not exactly. He does have this uh, long place pylon and extractor. It's favoring TLO because he has a lot more damage with the Colossus and uh, the Immortal here, so he's gonna do a lot of damage to these buildings. While the Clodra only has stalkers, so while the stalkers are actually look at this, taking out a nexus, nexus, nexus going down. Meanwhile, everything is going down, laying down another nexus, very nice indeed. Gonna delay everything. He is gonna delay everything. Meanwhile, this little probe is actually, uh, oh, this is actually TLO's nexus. My bad. Very smart for the Liquid TLO. And now Duck Lord Raw has not rebuilt his base, and Liquid TLO actually has a nexus on the other side of the map. However, Duck Lord Raw has rebuilt his nexus down here, so the base race is continuing. Meanwhile. Liquid TLO finally loses that Nexus. He still has one warp, working warp gate. I suppose he could use it to power something up somewhere. Meanwhile, it's gonna come down to whoever gets to the other Nexus first. Oh, Duck Lord Ross still has this hidden pylon, which is gonna be huge. This is a all-out base race for these players. Who wins first? We have the drop here. We're probably gonna have this Void Prism. Uh, let's see how much resources does Duck Lord Ross have. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. He's gonna plant the one here. That's right, he's gonna plant one here as well. So, yes, he, actually, TLO is pretty smart now. Choosing to go to take out Duck Lord Raw's army. Because once Duck Lord Raw's army is done, he will be able to, well, mine a little. And despite the fact that it'll go so slow, the match will be won. So it all gonna, it's all gonna come down to, will TLO manage to take out Duck Lord Raw's army? Before Duck Lord Raw takes out TLO's buildings. He does have an extractor and he does, that, so he does have this robot that was facility with so low HP. Taking out a couple of more stalkers there, but a few stalkers actually managing to get away. This immortal is a um, secure hit. Meanwhile, we're gonna have everything running away, and here comes the immortal. Very nice, picking up, distracting the army. Very smart indeed, because this war prism is gonna just cannot be attacked. Only stalkers can do damage to it, and bringing down, and now we have two zealots versus one immortal, and this immortal is gonna try and take out the extractor, and here come the zealots. Will the zealots beat the immortal? Not so much. Uh, but the, Zell the Immortal is getting picked up. Meanwhile, these Stalkers are running all across the map to take out this. And if TLO loses this probe, it could be extremely huge. Extremely huge. He needs to. He should have ran his probe out of there. Does he have enough resources to lay down anything more? Nope, that's it. And the last probe is done. And will TLO manage to save his Nexus? He needs to save his Nexus right now. Meanwhile, Ducklow Draw actually locking himself in here with a... Uh, a gateway and a pylon. However, Duck Lord Raw is mining at the well. He's mining gas at the moment, but hey, he actually managed to stop and take out an another couple of stalkers. And right now, <laughs> very nice using these uh, zealots to take out this and this. Meanwhile, we do have this immortal and this void prism, and it's uh, gonna come down to whoever <laughs> takes out the other guy's army. Uh, TLO is not gonna lose his army. His army is way too big for that. Meanwhile, the he does have enough uh, resources to produce another. Probe, so there we go. We have another probe indeed. Gonna take out this stalker. If he takes out this stalker, that could be huge. Come on, huge. And this last stalker falls. However, 
Duck Lord Rod does have a gateway and does have the, and does have this immortal. So, however, once TLO gets inside this space and takes out the Nexus and the probe, that's gonna be huge because this probe is sadly stuck in here. This probe cannot get away, and that is just ooh sad for Duck Lord Rod. If he would have gotten in here, maybe would have laid down a couple of more pylons, maybe would have delayed this. But I think TLO has won this. TLO has actually won this in an epic, epic, epic game, coming with the Void Prism to pick up the little probe and lay it down somewhere else. However, that's not going to make a difference because right now one Immortal cannot take out a Nexus in time while two Immortals are here on the defensive. So anything is not going to happen. Meanwhile, we do have this Observer scanning for any types of buildings. This Nexus is going to fall and right now Duck Low Draw has completely, completely lost in my opinion. He's, uh, he doesn't know that the base is defended. That is his goal. That is his hope. He doesn't know that there are two Immortals here. He's going to probably call the GG when he sees it. Just, yeah, he knows and he's probably going to, yep, there we go picking it up he knows that he can't do anything and just calls a gg gets out of there and i'm glad we cast this pre-patch game void rays didn't come into play and one observer actually came into play for um liquid tlo and liquid tlo is the winner so i don't think that uh, so it doesn't didn't matter that much so all the differences the protoss didn't actually make a difference uh, in the game so thank you for watching and this was just so fun to watch. I'll see you guys next time.